Hi, this is Greg Abston from the Laser Training Institute of Professional Medical Education Association. Welcome to our short video series on medical laser training. Okay, in this segment, let's take a quick look at the focused versus defocused laser beam, what that implies for safety, and then look at the collimated laser beam with no handpiece attachment and shoot it across a room just for the heck of it and see what happens. Here we have the laser sharply in focus. Yep, I think that did it all right. Now if we back it up a little bit, you'll see the spot size get larger. Now there comes a point, if I do this on my hand at a distance far away, there comes a point where I can feel the heat, but it's not burning me. The farther away you get, uh, the bigger the spot, the lower the power density, the safer it is in terms of burning something. Now let's look at the collimated beam. Here I've taken the handpiece off of the knuckles of this laser, so I have just the um, articulated arm with the knuckles coming out and see if I can shine that up there. Yep, that's the guide light shooting out. But now I have a collimated beam. There is no focus or defocus. It'll stay the same size regardless of where I am. So in this um, at this distance, it flames, but the farther back I go, it does the same thing. It holds the same distance. Now, let's try that across the room. Here you can see the setup. I've got the uh, handpiece off of the articulated arm, and I have it uh, fixed in a mount so that I can shoot this across the room. Here we've got the beam coming out, going across the room, and I've got it headed right over to that board with a styrofoam uh, coffee cup on it. You can see the red guide light on it. Uh, let's focus on that and then hit the laser and see what happens. Okay, from all the way across the room, let's fire this collimated laser beam. Five, four, three, two, one. There you are, a collimated laser beam. Please remember that we generally do not use collimated laser beams for medical surgical procedures. They virtually all go through a delivery device, whether it's a fiber or a handpiece or a microscope. 